All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the Benji and Andrew, and you're watching Let's Play Xeno Gears, the greatest JRPG of all time. Um, I realized in looking back at my last video, considering the amount of battles that were involved, it actually might be a really short one. Um, but that's okay, this one's going to be definitely more extended. Oh, so who's this uh, intruder that we're, we're going to be seeing here? By the way, yes, I forgot to say last time we made it all the way back to the uh, <laughs> to the to the dock after it was shut down, and of course it's Dominia who's shown up and is causing a ruckus. Oh, she knows about the Cybe Zane. Oh, no, you won't, Dominia. You're terrible. You're so bad. No, Faye, Faye is going to put a stop to your. To your madness. He has that power. Yep. Oh, you know who Nikolai is, huh? Maria Balthazar! And your grandfather is... Old Man Ball. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's, that's sinister. Oh god, I, I don't want to hear any interesting story from Dominia. That just sounds terrible. Dun dun dun. Secret of Sebzine. No, this is not going to be good. It's going to be a long, scary, awful story. Yeah, it's playing the sad music. Okay. Ah, so her father was Albert Einstein, basically. Hmm. That's some creepy stuff. Got some cyborg shit going on. Hmm. I see. I see, I see, I see. So basically, Maria, according to many, your father was responsible for creating a system where humans and machines mentally would be combined into one, which is a scary proposition. Hmm. Well. Oh. My god. Well, that hell will come right back to you, right? Right? If anything bad happens to the lambs, we will take that and we will shove retribution in your face. No, oh, spare runs materials, that's not good. Nobody, whenever a Solarian talks about experimental materials, you know that bad shit's going down. Oh, really? So the wells are essentially... Oh, okay, so wells are people that got experimented on, and so Billy was going around basically killing them. <sighs> Billy is probably not going to be happy about this. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's that makes uh, piloting your gear a little bit more difficult. Oh, it's Jesse! I love you, Jesse. Jesse, you're you're the best. <laughs> oh, Jesse. Oh, hello. What's what's going on? Oh, everybody knows Jesse. He's everybody's booze guzzling, gun slinging, uh, proverb saying rogue. That's who he is. He's going to do something awesome, I hope. <laughs> uh, is Dominia going to be persuaded to leave? Oh. So, what, what exactly did Dominia do? Because I'm kind of scared. Wah, wah, wah. 
Enjoy your party. Yes. Mmm. Oh shit. No. No, we gotta take care of Dominia. Cannot let her get away. <laughs> Don't listen to that crazy woman. Even though what she sounded what she said sounded very plausible. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like that doesn't sound like something she'd make up. Oh crap. Yeah, see, I told you she's, she set us up the bomb, is what she did. I don't like it when they set us up the bomb. Yeah. Oh, wow, the, the Yggdrasil's here? Jesus Christ. That Yggdrasil is awesome. An ominous premonition. That, that's, that's very sophisticated verbiage for you, Mr. Jesse. Could have just said, I got a bad feeling about this. But I guess we'll go with Ominous Premonition. Well, okay. Um, is Saibzan gonna... gonna turn on us? Is that what the deal is? Or are we gonna take control? Oh. Okay. Huh. Okay, so now we're... We're doing a battle plan. Okay, so this is this is gonna be a fun time. Oh, so she turned off the gate. That's what she friggin' did. She snuck in and she turned off the damn gate. Huh, oh, okay. Yeah, but we are. So we, we we're gonna we're gonna be the the beacon of awesome. To defend this friggin' city. That's what we're gonna do. By the way, uh, we will have another chance to shop. So that'll be really good. Because otherwise, we'd be totally screwed. <laughs> I like the idea of working for free. Oh, come on, Bart. Bart, it's, it's, we got, we got, we got, we got to defend humanity. Oh, there we go. Cool. Pride trumps money, apparently. Yeah, the brigandier with that big ass whip. Oh yeah, got the viage. <laughs> Rico's like, why am I still here? Well, yeah, I guess I guess Rico doesn't really have much to go back to. I mean, like he's no longer the champ back there, so he's just gonna kind of figure something else out. Ah. Well, I guess I guess it's up to uh, up to us to defend this mythical country, I suppose. Youngins, <laughs> youngins, he's calling us youngins. Nope, Jesse, I I believe in you. <laughs> oh, Billy, you're so naive. Silly, silly man. <laughs> More nicer. Oh, that wasn't by accident. They totally said that. Uh, Choo Choo? What? Choo Choo's gonna help, really. Yeah, it's. What are you doing here, Choo Choo? Uh huh, okay. Well. <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. Is Choo Choo gonna eat us all? That is... a little scary. Ugh. Oh, boy. That's causing, causing some problems. Yeah, yeah, you got... You got some friends in high places. Yeah. Got lots of lots of buddies. And some good stuff. I'm not sure how useful you could be to us, though. I mean, you're kind of this small furry animal. I don't know about your useful civity, because that's a word. Okay, so we got the four separate units. Get it. 
Okay. One giant gear. Oh, there's always one giant gear. Always a giant gear in every dungeon. Oh. It's gonna be... Is this gonna be Groff? If it's Groff, it's really gonna suck. Okay, we haven't seen that one before. Uh... Oxane! Ah, so he's working for Solaris. The thing is, uh, it kind of looks like the Brigandier, actually. But you know what? It's probably no match for Id's gear. That thing is just gonna rip, rip, rip everything to shreds. Ah. Ah. That's unfortunate. Talk about sprung loyalties. Oh boy, they're gonna start yelling at us and tell us to put our arms down and surrender. No! Your father's a cyborg, Maria, it's terrible. Oh shit, this ain't good. Uh, we're not in a good way. Your father's been brainwashed by the Salarian military complex. Essentially the worst people any anywhere. Like literally the worst people on Earth. They're part of the Skyrag. Uh, well, I don't know, it kinda sounds like Dr. Nikolai. But I guess you know you can alter your voice to sound however however you want it to. Uh, Maria's freaking out. Uh, don't do it, Maria. Be strong. Especially if you're gonna join our crew. I mean, you don't have death blows, but you do have a kick-ass gear. So you can make up for it. Woo! Yeah, we sure do. Hmm. Yeah, so this is going to be an interesting part of the game, by the way. You have to split yourself into four groups. It's very like uh, Final Fantasy VI, which uh, myself and Mike have been covering in my other LP, where you have a lot of uh, parts of the game where you're splitting, you're taking all your party members and you're splitting them into separate groups. So it's kind of like you're not using just one party at a time. Makes the game a little bit more interesting, but it does require you to get more equipment too. Uh, two small gears and a... Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Uh-huh. Three white knights. Yeah, white knights are a pain in the ass. Fat one and a white knight. Yes. Because as we all know, large gear and a white knight. As we all know, Setan is a master strategist. Although his last plane didn't work out that well. Remember back when we were trying to take over Ava? We thought it was going to be uh, absolutely fantastic. But, alright, so let's hear the enemy info. Let's get Faye, and uh, see Dan's gonna go to generator two. Ellie's gonna go to number three, and I'm just really like kind of going, kind of kind of going at random here. See Dan. Oh, you know what? Um. Let's do that again. So, Faye, uh, uh, okay, so Faye's gonna be at generator one. That's fine. Uh, we want Billy in here because he's he's got like new equipment and so forth. And then C10. And then Rico. Okay. That's fine. I just kind of did that without thinking, but 
I'm actually thinking that this might be a better way because I'm, I'm just trying to I'm trying to assess when we're going to be able to change equipment and I think that's going to be pretty soon it's just not going to be right this second so that should be okay so yeah so let's go all right so preparations yes okay let me go get ready yeah so this this kind of comes at you fast, and I remember the first time I played this, I freaked out because I did not get my uh, proper um, assignments done. But actually, in, in retrospect, you can assign them anything you want and get the proper equipment. But we do at least want to get new uh, equipment for like Rico and Seatan because we haven't done that yet. So we're going to do that. Hooray. All right, so we're going to be... Going up against Solarians, we're invading Shivat because Dominia snuck in and turned off the damn generator. So now we're at war. What's war going to look like? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears is the Benjinator. Thank you guys for watching.